verse two, chapter 12. Everyone, please uh, turn your Bible to John chapter 12. Okay, from 12, we have already read this verse before, just before our reading, right? So there are a couple of things I would like to bring forward today to you and uh, with you guys, and I want to share something. If you read uh, from 15, it was said like this. Do not fear, O daughter of John. Look, your king is coming, sitting on a donkey is called, okay? And next verse says this, his disciples did not understand and could not comp comprehend the meaning of these things at first, but when Jesus was glorified and exalted, they remembered that these things had been written about him and had been done to him. The group that had been with Jesus when he called Lazarus out of the tomb and raised him from among the dead kept telling it to others bearing witness okay please uh, keep that word in mind bearing witness and the next verse says this 18 it was for this reason that the crowd went out to meet him because they had heard that he had performed the sign a proof of miracle then Pharisees said among themselves you see how futile your efforts are and how you accomplish nothing See, the whole world is running after him. Okay? So i just like to discuss with you guys th three things, okay? So, you well known about the situation. Jesus was entered into the city of Jerusalem. And, you know, everybody is calling Hosanna. Everybody is calling Hosanna. The king who is coming in the name, God's name, to be blessed. Blessed is the king of Israel. Right, we have, we, everyone know, and even people say, right, a lot of the times people say, what is the meaning of Hosanna? People say, what is the meaning? Come on. What is the meaning of Hosanna? Say it louder. Save us. Anything else? Most of the times people say, it's victory, right? Victory, peace. All right, we, we many times often call this word called Hosanna. All right, so many of, many of you guys already know this uh, phrase where we discussed before. Now, a few things I just want to uh, bring in front of you to the, today into the light is, one is in the 15th verse, it said, do not fear. Okay, just keep that in mind. It said, do not fear. Okay, and next, there's something going on. You know what's happening? The disciples are keep on shouting. The disciples of Jesus Christ has keep on shouting. And you know, if you read the same phrase in Luke chapter 19, there, Pharisees says to Jesus Christ, says, please make your disciples silent. They're shouting like anything. Then the Lord says, if you make them calm, you know, the stones will start. The stones will start shouting. Okay? So, Hosanna you can't limit it. Just keep, it, keep that in mind. When you said Hosanna, it is such a powerful thing that you make for the Lord. I mean, it can be any contribution. It can be a shout of praise. It can be a shout of gratitude that you're showing to him. It can be a shout of thankfulness to him. It can be a shout of glory to the Lord. So one thing you want to make clear here is Hosanna you can't control. Though you shut down the mouths of people, what will start speaking? Stones will start. Maybe on those days, stones are near. Now we can have many things like pillars, buildings, many other things. Our vehicles keep on harming. This, instead of harming, probably these days, it will harm Hosanna. Right? So I'm just trying to interpret the words there. So... The first is says, your disciples are over him. I mean, they are shouting more than, you know, the capacity. Shouting more than what they want. They are full of joy. 
you know, just like, you know, my cup is overflown as is described in 23rd Psalms. So the joy is overflown you know, among the disciples as well as among the people there. You know, and they keep on shouting, Hosanna, victory, okay? Blessed is the king who is coming in the God's name. So everything is fine. So my dear friends, Hosanna is something which you can't keep shut up. I mean, you can't just make, make it, you know, oh no, we can just pump it. We can just, you know, push into, into some box. We can actually shut down. No, you can't do that. That's one thing you want to keep that in mind. Okay? So Hosanna, when you say, you always remember that nobody can actually stop it, oppress it, fit it into something or lock it. Okay? Such a powerful thing. Now, as I told you before, now let's come to the verses. 15th verse says, do not fear. Next. Again, in, if you read in 17, 18, or in the 16th ending, disciples were saying that they were not actually, you know, uh, actually get these words when they were with Jesus. But later on, when Jesus Christ is glorified, when he actually went to heaven, so these disciples actually seeing, okay, this, why Jesus Christ has chosen donkey? Okay, so it was already according to scripture that they were understood and they are the witness. Now, again, there is something called in the 17th verse, it's like people who have been witnessed when Jesus Christ is raised Lazarus from death. Okay, even th there are some people around there. Okay, even there are people who I witnessed the miracle. What miracle? Jesus raised Lazarus from death. And there are many other people. So why these people gathered around him is one thing. It's because of the witness. Because they see with their own, own eyes what's really Jesus has been done. And because of those miracles, some people heard it. Some people eyewitnessed it. Okay. Because of all these things, they are now, you know, welcoming him with a grand welcome. You know, it's not a... Not such a grand welcome, but yes, still, you know, they laid their clothes on donkey. They laid their clothes throughout the way. You know, they are, uh, you know, raising, they are showing their gratitude. They are showing their pleasure, happiness by raising the palm, the palm tree's leaves, right? So this is a situation. You, everyone knows this. But things, you need to observe three things there. One is, he said, fear not. The other thing is, people are really gathered there. One is because of they witnessed him. And the other thing is people really because of his miracles. Okay? It's because of his miracles. Now, again, at the end, there is a face. You know what the face? First he says, how come all our works are futile? Which is nothing but they went vain. They are nothing. If you read in, in message version... It was said like, <coughs> how come situations are out of control, our hands? Situations are out of control. Who's out of control? It's out of control of Pharisees. So Pharisees try to, you know, deviate the people when they are actually reaching to Jesus Christ. They want to deviate the people not reaching him. They want to deviate people to not go out. Because you know why? Jesus Christ many times went into the temple. He started preaching. The moment he seen some trading happening in the temple, right? There's, what he used to say? They used to, you know, send them everyone out of, right? They used to, he used to cast away everyone out of the temple. And he used to say directly, my house is a house of prayer. It's not a den of robbers. Okay? So most of the times... Jesus Christ is really giving pain to the Pharisees because the moment he is sending out the traders from the church, there is no commission that priests are getting from them. There is no commission that Pharisees is getting from the robbers. Because yes, right, because see, if, if you see some, some trader on a street, right, you know what, he is to pay something to someone to really do a business there, yes? He may pay to his local leaders, he may pay to the person who is in front of the property who is actually he's doing the business right similarly jesus christ said that do your business but outside the temple not inside the 
temple. So he is to cast away any robbers, any traders in the temple. We have seen all these things. Now, Pharisees really trying to shut down this shouting. What is shouting? Hosanna. All right. Now they are crying. What are they crying? How come all things are out of control? We have many plans, right? We had many plans. We have scripted, written down many plans. How come we arrest him? How come, uh, how to find a mistake in him? But you know, things are out of control because you know what happened? The world is behind him. The world is behind him. They didn't say simply Jerusalem. They didn't say simply Jerusalem is behind Jesus. No. They are crying, saying, the world is behind him. And before that, they said, how come everything is out of control? Everything is out of, out of control. Now, same situation is with you and me today. We can't sing it louder in the streets. Yes? Do we? Right? In a country like ours, still we, unfortunately, the government at the high level says, Everybody is equal in the sight of the law. Everybody has equal rights. Every religion, every person has a freedom to have his, choose his religion, follow his own, or according to him, whatever he wish, he can follow his philosophies. So that kind of freedom constitution has been given to us, but unfortunately, still there are some people who say that, okay, India is a country only for Hindus, India is not a country for somebody else. So there are a lot, many disturbances around the world and especially in the country, especially in our country. Now, these people, they are trying to deviate the people who are actually really following Jesus Christ. It's maybe because of his teachings, because he's not preaching like their priest. It may be because of his miracles, his, maybe because of his authority. Now, a grand welcome has been organized in the city of Jerusalem when he was entered. Everybody came out of homes. Everybody left their job, what they're currently doing. Everybody is now on streets shouting Hosanna. People are joyed. People are warmly welcomed, Lord Jesus Christ. Now, you know what happened? The first he says, how come everything is out of control? We thought of, let's control the people here. Let's control the people there. Let's control some religious activities there. Let's control Christians. Let's control this new philosophies. But still, things are out of control. All the plans which they are trying to execute, nothing is fruitful. Nothing is fruitful. And my dear friends, not just in the times of Jesus, we have many incidents in the Bible where the world is trying to oppress Jews or children of God, but still things are out of control. If you turn your Bible to the book of Esther, in the chapter of 3, if you read from, you know, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, we see a situation there, right? Haman, right? What he did, he's, he's not unhappy, okay? He's not happy with the actions of Mordecai, and you know what, what happening? He thought, okay, these people are not bowing down to me. Let's do one thing. Let's have a plan. Let's have a plan and let's kill every Jews who are in our kingdom. And he went down to the king. He explained him what's been going on and he got a permission. He took the ring of king and he started writing to all the departments saying that, okay, we have to kill Jeeves. But you know what happened? What happened? He is preparing a cross to kill, to kill, to crucify Mordecai, but Haman himself hanged to it. Yes? Yes or no? So the plans are out of control. If you turn your Bible to book of Daniel, in the same three chapter, if you see, again there are three friends there. You know, there's a certain group who is thinking that these people are really 
the Jews are really, their tradition is different. They're following different laws. They, they have their own laws. They're not following. They're not following according to our king. So they themselves made a new rule that everybody has to bow down to a new golden image or new golden idol that's been prepared. And you know what happened? Everybody in the country is bowed down to the idol that's been inaugurated in a grand manner. There's a video on this, actually. If you got a chance, just see it. It's part of Bible series. When I see, you know, it's especially that particular frame, you know, there's a big ground. There's a big ground. You know, at, at some corner, the idol has been inaugurated in a grand launch. There's a lot of music and everything is going on. And now, um, you know, they said, let's bow down and worship our new God, right? The moment they said that, the entire congregations in the ground, right? The congregation bow down and these three friends are still standing. Imagine how the picture will be. Entire ground is something. And so there are three, these three friends are clearly identified. Okay, so I'm saying there is an oppression, right? People try to, you know, kill Jews, the people really following the living God. So they always used to do something against these people. But what happened? They've been thrown into fire because they're not bowed down to the image. And you know what the miracle happened after that. Same thing happened in case of Daniel as well. For Daniel as well, right? They created a new law that it's, it, this time it's not the idol. This time the king himself is a god, right? So they created a new rule and a rule is like that. What is the rule? Even king can't now change it, right? Who can't change it? The king has been passed the rule that everybody in the country has to worship the king. And if the king, because now when it, it came to Daniel's turn, king don't want to kill him. Right, but you know, the other persons who really behind this plan, what they said, you know, once a lie is prepared, even king can't, king can't stop it. So what happened? They thrown him into the dens of lions. Right, in the dens of the lions, but still the control is out of the enemies. Okay? So my dear friends, why I'm saying all these things to you in front of today is when you're saying Hosanna, when you're saying Hosanna, feel in your heart that things are in our control, not in enemy's control. Hallelujah. Hosanna. Hosanna. So always why, why I said these three examples in front of you today is be keep in mind that don't fear. First thing is do not fear. And the other thing is Always think that things are in our control, not in the enemy's control. Because the God who is behind the Hosanna is the one who makes the things in your control. Because he is actually controlling you. You got it? So now, why I, why I said, you know, the John chapter 12, you know, all these three verses. Daniel chapter 6, Daniel chapter 3, Esther chapter, uh, you know, 3. I, why all these things is there are certain plans. Enemy always comes with some against plans because that's why he's enemy, right? He's against us. That's why it's an enemy. Otherwise, we won't say, right? Dear friends, it's not that day, not in the New Testament times, even in today's times, when you are saying Hosanna, keep in mind that things are in our control, God's control. It's not enemy's control. You have to feel that. The moment you start feeling that, you know, my, my future is in God's control. It's not someone's control. It's not enemy's control. People think, okay, it's not, you know, uh, now Satan is playing on me. Satan is playing his tricks on me. Sta Satan, people, most of the times people say it's right. They praise him like, like anything. I think sometimes, I feel that they're praising Saturn more than God. Yes? What they say? Really, I thought of doing something, but Saturn created a big stop, a barricade before. 
obstacles before you yourself making him big you you, you yourself giving your control to him saying that hey yeah, play some tricks in the between while i'm going this is the key so whenever you want open my heart come into me play some tricks my dear friends don't say hosanna for the name sake of palm sunday okay don't say hosanna for the name sake of palm sunday when you said hosanna keep in your mind that things are our control such a great god our god is such a great god a god is so keep always this thing in mind hosanna when i said this word things are in our control not envy's control people think that okay the first is saying now how come things are out of control all our plans are resulted in no fruits there is no fruits it's like we invested a lot and lost everything they invested money. you know what what happened those days they used to give money to you know soldiers they used to give money to some spies tell us if you find some mistake in preaching of lord jesus christ tell us where he is preaching now tell us where he is actually staying now because you they want to trace him they want to find him some wrong in his speaking but still lot of investment happened my dear friends why i'm saying investment is because they invested the same thing for judah of iscariot right even they paid him some silver coins which means that envy is trying to invest envy is also trying to spend his money envy is envy is come on envy is trying to spend some money as well but still hosanna things are in our control things are in our control when we read in mark chapter 12 i think it like you know sorry in the book of mark we read that we see one person called bartimaeus right he's blind he's he's blind and you know though he heard that jesus is actually passing through the street and he don't know where he is he know only one thing shouting he know only one thing because he can't see where really lord jesus christ is how far he is from him because if he is near just like the person just like behind me i can say hey hi but if somebody is near i said hi because i want to reach out to him shout as much you can as hosanna shout as louder as you can hosanna he will come definitely to you because you always feel that things are not out of control things are not out of control things are in god's control our father's control right so now now batimais started shouting oh son of david have mercy on me O oh, son of David, have mercy on me. You know, some people said that, hey, blind man, keep shout. Sorry, keep calm. Shut down your mouth. The moment they said that, shut down your mouth, he raised his voice to double. And now he's shouting again. What is shouting? Son of David, have mercy on me. People said that, but my, don't shout. He's very far. he is not in your control now he is not in your control i mean you can't shout because you know what's been there your voice can't reach lord jesus christ he is far away and we always says this my dear friend and we says that he is not near to us and we says he is not near to us now don't shout don't waste your voice don't waste your voice people says hey things are already out of control now stop praying for that we are praying for something we are praying for something what we will pray with a faith that we want to achieve it really we pray for some healing we pray for some achievement we pray for really in hard times and there will be some people says hey don't waste your time now stop praying because things are already out of control and we always says things of out of your control but hosanna says things are in my control don't worry don't fear so you have to understand the meaning of hosanna whenever you say it's not just on palm sunday it's not just on palm sunday whenever in your life at whatever time in your life it may be early morning in the midnight in the noon 
in the morning in the place where you work where you see that you know things are really going out of control remember hosanna hallelujah remember hosanna when you you know that really my my work is going to fail i'm not going to finish my work you know whatever i'm planning whatever i'm doing it's going away the days are coming f- soon you know the deadline is approaching you know very fast my competitors are growing i'm applying for some some job okay i'm applying for some job my competitors are going i'm out of control remember hosanna things are in our control you have to feel this presence my dear friends if you are feeling it i'm saying that damn whatever happened in the world hosanna 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 because things are in our control god makes things are in our control we may have a situation like you know in the in times of esther the rule has been passed you know it's almost near that every jew will be killed everything is happen you almost going to die three friends are in the fire the three friends in the da- book of daniel if you see this these three friends shadrach meshach and abednego these three friends are in ready to die they are in fire so we feel that right when when i fall into fire there's nothing to control who will control come on dear friends if you are not really working with your mind today it's going to be same hosanna for the name sake when i am in a fire who is controlling the fire is controlling me don't it when i fell down in fire who is controlling the fire is controlling when i fell down in water who is controlling the water is controlling hosanna says no still things are in your control hosanna says still things are in control even fire which can control you can't make you burn when i am in in the den of lions one single lion i can't handle right when i am in the den of lions still things are in the control how the things happening is hosanna hosanna right that's why i'm saying when i don't say hosanna for name sake okay don't say it for name sake just like our prayer right every morning my mom is to just wake up me my you know my wife is to wake up and say hey it's a prayer time i used to sit down okay for the name sake i say lord i thank you for the whole night you have protected me lord i thank you just for name sake i'm saying my dear friend when i heard some song in the morning that song keep on humming in mind for the whole day why it's happening because i just heard in the morning automatically it's coming right every day if you morning in the prayer though you concentrate or don't concentrate there will be some words coming out of your mind thank you lord your name should be glorified thank you everything it's not coming from your mind i'm saying with your mind i say you should say hallelujah and hosanna don't say for name sake you know just because everybody is raising the palm leaves i also should raise hosanna is different you can't press it you can't control it you may think that okay in the country like this there are certain rules coming upon us people first thing my dear friend first thing first thing i'll tell you jesus said right the the world hated me the same way it will happen to you yes come on true or false let's play a game the world hated me and it will also hate you if you love me yes so when you see that people are hating you just because you follow christianity and it's same thing lord jesus christ has been spoken some time before said what he said world also will hate you then why you fear now yes come on again there is a one more question i want to bring during the early christianity when the new testament church is build, building up when the disciples are actually you know roaming around the cities and proclaiming what there is just to say hey you know these are the people who is to invert the world right these are the people who can invert the world come on you are not saying it yes people is to fear about the disciples of jesus christ because they can change the things so the world is feared to the disciples saying that because they can really change the things now who is fearing to whom the church is fearing to the world 
Church is? Yes or no? Church is fearing to the world. But the New Testament church which is started where the world is, is to fear looking at the New Testament church. Yes? There is to fear looking Paul. There is to fear looking John the Baptist. There is to fear looking Apostle Peter. There is to fear. Right? Why the, why the Herod king has not killed John the Baptist directly? Because he is to fear. Because he is given a commitment to his wife or his daughter that I'll provide you whatever, the, I'll grant you whatever the wish you want. He made him to kill, but otherwise he won't. Right? Who is to fear? The world is to fear looking at Christians. Now things are changed. Because we lost the feeling of Hosanna. We lost the feeling of Hosanna. If you, if you know what is the feeling of Hosanna, if you know really what is the presence behind the Hosanna, that's what I said in John chapter 12. It was written in 15. First word, do not fear. First word, what it is? Do not fear. And we should say this. What it, what it is to say? Why the things are out of control. I thought of, you know, not letting this person to grow in his career. I thought of not this person letting, letting grow in his place where he's working. I thought this person should not have a own house. I thought this person should not buy a vehicle. There may be anyone. It may be in your own relatives, friends, in your own society. Remember always Hosanna, which says that things are in, in your control still. Don't, don't lose your control. Don't lose your faith. Don't lose your faith because the king who is coming in the God's name always provides you victory. The moment you feel that Hosanna is such a lively word, such a powerful word which can make things lively, which can make things in your control. I'm saying, my dear friends, you never, you really I'm saying, whether you sing song about Hosanna, whether you say the Hosanna from your word, always think that things are in our control. Hosanna, can we say? Hosanna. Bless is the king of? Because, you know, things are in our control. Hallelujah. 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 So the moment you said, Hosanna, fear not. Things are in God's control, not enemy's control. Most of the times we think that my friend is just jumping over me. My friend is reading more, you know, he's getting more than over me. He may get. Know your opportunities. Know your strength. Know your skills. Know you are the daughter of king of king. Know your son of king of king, know who is your father, know who is going to provide you, know who is actually looking around you, know who is protecting you, know who is called you, know who actually made you as a daughter of, you know, king, as a son of king. The moment you are losing that authority, the moment you're losing the feeling, you know, Hosanna, you may say it, I, I don't want to say it like this because Hosanna is such a powerful word. So the moment you, you, if you really know the real meaning about it, if you really know what is the power behind it, I said, right, use it when you see that the bike is out of control. The bike is out of control. The situations in the home are going out of control. Right. There is no peace. Okay, always fightings. Use the word Hosanna. Things are in God's control. Submit ourselves into his control. Submit ourselves... You know what, if you see the situation there, a lot of people, a lot of gathering there, you know, just because why? Because the miracles are because they just heard about Jesus Christ. Okay, Jesus Christ is so great. He did something. He, he you know, he rose uh, uh, Lazarus from death to live, right? So, so many things there. I don't want you guys to believe Jesus Christ by because of his miracles. I don't want to believe Jesus Christ by his miracles. Believe him by your faith. Believe him by your faith. Don't raise your word just because my father said to raise. My mother said to raise and say hallelujah. Raise because you believe that he's a king. Otherwise don't raise. I used to feel about shame about myself sometimes. I used to say, can you raise our hands? Why? Why I need to say the request? Don't you feel he's your king? Don't you feel he's a Hosanna? Come on, dear friends. 
you need to feel the power. Your own hands are not in your control. Right, our own mouth is not in our control. We say for the namesake. So stop using Hosanna for the namesake. When you spell it, when you speak about it, you should always know its power. What is the power? Do not fear, the God is controlling you. Do not fear, still things are in your control, not enemies control. This should you have to remember, that's the power of Hosanna. That's why the Pharisees are crying, oh, what about our investments? We plan many things against this person. We plan many things against this person. Now look at, not just Jerusalem, the whole world is running behind Lord Jesus Christ. So don't fear, my dear friends. Use Hosanna because the king who is coming in the God's name is going to provide you the victory. Fear not. Fear? Fear not. Most of the times we think, right? No, uh, I'm not. I'm less skillful. I can't compete with that person. I can't really compete with that person. He's very, he may be a skillful person. Why, why are you making yourself down? Upgrade yourself with the help of God. Upgrade yourself with the help of God. Because Gideon said, what he said? God, how can I fight? No, no, I can't fight. Right? He said, I'm the least when I compare in the tribes. I can't really lead the army. Many people he gathered for the army. But at last, very, with the very few people, he won against the Midianites. Right? How he won? Just because he know he started feeling that the Lord is really speaking with him. The Lord is really speaking with him. So my dear friends, I'm requesting you, don't use Hosanna for namesake. Don't use Hosanna for namesake. Always remember it. It says that fear not, things are in our control. The Lord is controlling us. So keep that in mind. Let this Palm Sunday be a blessed Sunday to every one of us who is sitting over here, to the entire world who is really saying this word, Hosanna today. God bless these holy words. Let's pray.